Yo, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show y'all how I whipped up this clean minimalist animated logo intro using CapCut. It's smooth, it's customizable, and it's got that professional vibe. If you're trying to follow along, I got you. All the resources you need are linked in the description. All right, let's get into it. First up, I started with the background. I went with this dark blue color. Keeps it simple but classy. I stretched the duration a bit cause, let's be real, no one likes a rushed intro. Gotta let it breathe, you know? Next, I brought in this blue animated overlay. But hold on, it's not rolling solo, it's paired with this yellow background. Here's the thing, the yellow background is too long compared to the blue one, so I had to pull it back. Perfect, now they're in sync. But wait a minute, where's the blue one? Turns out the yellow is completely blocking it. Classic CapCut layer issues. So, I jumped into the layers menu, grabbed the yellow background and moved it behind the blue. Boom! Now the blue plays right on top of the yellow. The reason I went with blue and yellow is because they match the logo colors perfectly. But don't worry, I'll show you how to switch them up for any logo in a sec. Alright, now, right where those layers end, I dropped in some animated circles. These circles are supposed to sit side by side and move together. But first, I gotta fix their size. So, I clicked on the first circle, scaled it up to 100 to fit the screen height, and then did the same for the second one. Easy work. Yo, quick reminder, if you're watching this and you haven't smashed that like button yet, what are you waiting for? Show some love, it's free. Now, before the logo makes its big entrance, I added some animated accent shape motion graphics behind it. These shapes are also in blue and yellow to keep the theme consistent. Just like the circles, I scaled the first one up to 100, and then did the same for the second one. Took me a second, but now everything's looking tight. Alright, time for the main event, the logo. But man, this logo came in looking huge. So, I scaled it down to about 50%. Much better. But we're not stopping there. I want this logo to pop forward when it shows up. Oh, hold up. Is that logo looking more like orange than yellow? Yeah. I can't let that slide. Time for a quick color fix. If you're balling with CapCut Pro, there's an easy way to switch up the colors. Head over to the filter section, and under the stylized tab, you'll find a bunch of color presets to choose from. But here's the catch. They're all part of the Pro package. So unless you've got a CapCut Pro account, you're out of luck. But if you're like me and sticking to the free version, here's the hack. Go to the adjustment menu. Hit up the HSL settings and tweak the hue. I adjusted the yellow hue to make it more orange, and now it's looking just right. Did the same thing for the yellow circle. Click, tweak, done. The blue? That's already perfect, so no need to touch it. You know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now that the colors are locked in, I moved on to animating the logo. First, I jumped ahead 15 frames, that's about half a second from the layer, and set a keyframe right here. Then I went back to the start, scaled the logo down to half. That's 25% and let it play out. It looked kind of basic at first. To spice it up, I'll go to the animation graph preset and select this one right here. Rebound. It adds a bit of bounce to it. All right, now for the logo tagline. I'm just gonna type in tagline for now, but what font should I go with? Hmm, yeah. Poppins look solid, clean, and classy. The font size look way too big for a tagline, so I'll just shrink it down a bit. There we go. Now I'll drop it right here under the logo. For the animation, I want it to slide up nice and smooth, and this preset called Showing Up nails it perfectly. Finally, I adjusted all the layers so everything ends cleanly with the background. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, that's smooth. The way the logo pops and the subtle bounce just tie everything together. I'm hyped about how this turned out. Alright, that's a wrap for this one. If you like what you saw, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, hit subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.